Alrighty folks, here we are in the Gold Coast Hockey Centre. It's the Sharks in yellow versus the Barflies mixed. So a lot of these players are actually um, playing in the Barflies men. Uh, so the Barflies mix is made up of some of the Barflies men plus some various other women. And in addition, uh, the Sharks are made up of the remainder of the Barflies men. Anyway, don't let that confuse you. Uh, the Sharks are in yellow and the Barflies mixed are in white. And as normally saying there, just uh, winning the free hit is Missed trap that one though, and he's come over to here to MYOB. He's passed it out to Jenny in the yellow. So it's uh, Sharks on the ball now. Now it's back with Barflies mixed again. Gil Strayer over there in white. It's fallen out for the postman. Noel Mitchell, who's gone out wide to the half. Now the girls have been playing very well. Went long down the wing, but uh, couldn't get a trap on that one. Coming back now through Tommy Hancock. He's, uh, just protect the ball nicely there and then uh, pass it out here to the right hand side. Normally, same again. Normally, he's done a little bit of twinkle toes there and just popped the ball under his toe and jumped over it as he went. And anyway, played it off the stick and out over the sideline for a, a free in. Norm's had a very good carnival. And he's gone, yeah, just nicely down the, the wing there. He's got a good eye, as Norman. That one bobbled up. And it's bobbled back up to the sideline again to another hit at the side. Back to Tex Harkler. Where's he going? Back to where it came from. One, two, one, two. Nice work. Across the face. On to the top of the D. Finds the yellow shirt and uh, into the foot of the white player, but it's play on. That looks like Sizzler out there. Les Siswowski, Sizlowski or something like that. Oh, Jenny's managed to get onto the end of this one right up in the forward line here. Oh, she passed it out wide. A little bit of girl, girl on girl here. Couldn't find the way through. Popped it past the player, but couldn't make the return pass stick. Here's a free now. Comes out to Budgie there, number three in yellow. Waiting for a player to make a move. Switches it to the side. Good one, Jenny. Oh, yeah. Managed to get a shot away. Uh, Tex Harper there got something on it and Sizzler while he was moving the faster you move the harder it is to make a trap of course and uh, actually bobble it up onto his foot normally same now comes out wide pulls it out wide to the sideline protects it nicely and popped up there to um, the other lady player and it's Gil Strayer pulled the ball back <laughs> But uh, unfortunately, just lost out. Sizzler on the ball now. Tony Hancock closing him down. Tony's got a hell of a pace about him. I think he's played pretty well three games nearly every day this week on a six day carnival. It's a hell of a lot of hockey. He's been in staggering form and really, really fit. So I must say, it's uh, been, been impressive. Uh, I think Tony's around about 60 years old now, maybe something like that. Oh, lovely ball across to Alistair Hogg. He's, he's, he's dumped the ball back, but he didn't. <laughs> he's tried to dump it back. He actually left the ball more or less in place and ran away from it. <laughs> oh, Normie's aim here again now. Oh, back across the face. Uh, Fraser Lark, I mean, Gold just steps over the ball and says, oh, sorry, oops. <laughs> oh, good fun. He's, he's, he's all fun, is Fraser, the, the goalkeeper for the yellow team. Now, um, I was just making the ball move a metre. He's showing a big hit here, but he's uh, passed it to Normie, who's mistrapped it there in the reverse. He's looking at his stick. No, there is no hole in that stick. Sizzler now versus Tony Hancock. Put it under his feet. There's going to be a corner there. No, the umpire said take it just outside. Looked like it might have been just inside, but anyway, that's what the umpire's given. Back with Budgie, asking where it is. The umpire said just about there. Thank you very much. Where are we? Back to Jenny again, protects the ball nicely onto the foot, well done. Very nicely, Tex Harper there. Budgie on the injection. Alistair on the top of the D, straight to him, nice one. Tony Hancock bed. oh! Laid out to the right hand post for a deflection. Come off the stick for a long corner. Nicely worked, Tony Hancock was out like lightning but, and managed to um, 
put Alistair off, but he still got the ball away out to that right hand side, which is good work by him. And that ball was actually passed directly in the line of the white player from a, a long corner. So it probably wasn't the best option, whoever injected that one. There's MYOB now, Wayne Harris, the accountant. Slowed down in recent years, but was quite a marathon runner in his day. Fitzy on the ball, having a look, just slips out wide, getting the girls involved, cracks one in. Lovely long ball there. Oh, yes, saw the player arriving in that channel. Managed to get a stick on it, but unfortunately bubbled out over the back line. It was the right idea though, good play. Definitely uh, the right option to go for. Only runs his stick over the ball. Sure, a bit of deception. He's got to take himself on here. He's beating himself. <laughs> he's, he's shown the ball twice there and um, lost it eventually. Now he's going again. Now he's put it under his own feet. <laughs> Sometimes it pays to pass the ball, Tony. Like that. See how easy that is? And there we go again. <laughs> well, when you're full of running, why not? And it's all about fun, this game. So uh, the umpire found a foot there, which it was, near uh, Noel, the postman, bubbles and threw onto, up, oh, he's managed to get the ball on a stick, but lifted it up into the defence. So, uh, Alan Eden now, just dribbles it forward. Our friend here, steps over the ball one way, steps over the ball the other way, but she pokes it away, but the whistle's gone. Oh, what's the umpire given here? He's given it to White. Yeah, the obstruction rules are a bit of a strange one these days, trying to get the right interpretation sometimes. The rule actually hasn't changed, but the interpretation of the rule is uh, something to be determined by the umpires on the day. Oh, there's a very nice ball through the centre and coming out wide to the side. An unmarked player over here. Good play. And Fraser Larkham gets a good kicker on that, straight back to where it came from. Comes out wide here to Budgie, slips it out to Sizzler. And off he takes. We've got Tex Harpler here. Comes out wide to Pom. Straight down the line. Oh! Not quite enough legs there from the winger to get to that. As I say, there's been a lot of hockey played. And uh, these are the 55 year and above mixed players. So there's no upper age limit, of course. And uh, as the men are. Uh, mostly in their 60s or well above a lot of the ladies are 50 plus but just picked that one off normally saying he's not too impressed with himself and here they come now up to uh, out to Noel but uh, it didn't work out nice pass there from Tony Hancock off to Tex Harkler slides one through good finds a good pass there that's it Fitzy sizzling on the ball now where's he going Diagonally out to the wing, straight to the player this time, so she didn't have to work too hard for it. She's not running it, she's just going to receive and pass, so that's good play. So it's making everybody move. Oh, Tony Hancock, yep, he's pretty quick around the place, so you've got to be a little bit faster and sharper with your passes than that to make it stick. There's a white ball now, back to Tony. Sizzler's zoomed in and done to Tony what Tony's been doing to everybody else. Tommy gets it under his feet this time and manages to turn and get it away. So this time, hopefully, he gets a little bit of a quicker pass. Let's we'll see how Tex is closing down the option there. Yeah, just a little bit slow on the pass. Should have gone a bit earlier, then he wouldn't have had to lift it to try and beat Tex. But as I say, it's always easy from the sideline. A lot harder when you're actually out there. Noel Mitchell on the ball. Over the sideline and back to Sizzler. He's cracked one long here. It's going to go all the way out and down and out down the other end. There's a nice ball out. Tex receives. Tex hasn't done the best of um, traps so far in this game. He's usually much more solid than that. Sideline ball now. Norm is over there. Looking to take the hit. Substitution happening. 
as you can see, the player just stepped off on the 23. I mean, if it was an official game, you'd have to go by the halfway line, but uh, this is friendly hockey, carnival hockey. Norman cracks one in, one as far as the yellow shirt. That's good, good defence. She stands, she stands just outside the D, so if, it, if you do miss trap or you do bobble and hit your foot, you're not giving away the short corner. So you don't want to be receiving the ball inside the D if you can possibly help it, but just outside there's Budgie there just leaving the field by the looks of things. As he ran towards the camera, just got another shot on the bottom of screen. Alan Eden dribbles right, dribbles left. But, uh, didn't make his pass stick. Fitzy was on that like a seagull on a chip. Comes out here to Pommy. First time, did good work, Pommy. And unfortunately, Alistair has bobbled it up. And Tony Hancock's decided to do a pirouette or two, as his, uh, he likes to do. Fitzy's changed the angle, changed the angle again. Come back to Alistair. Where's Alistair going? Oh, yeah. Tony's given up, he's running off for a while. And now here comes Sizzler, so this has been full of running as well. Go on, go early. Yeah, that pass probably should have gone to the player closer to him, which was Alistair, but he's, he's cut Alistair out and it's made it easy for the defender to get a stick on that. So when you're passing laterally, if you can go slightly back away from the defensive player, it's always preferable. And even bubbles one back there to his player in the D. And he'd see how he was receiving that just inside the D. If he'd mistrapped that, that would have been a short corner. So he really needs to be stepping up, just like we discussed before. Tex cracks one long. That's uh, Col Newman up there just shaking his head and saying, yeah, the ball went there and it wasn't there. <laughs> yes, we know Col. <laughs> Everyone's pointing at the halfway line. We know there's a the ball is about to arrive sometime. Now the player, the ball was actually on the line. It's Gil Strayer. He still calls Strayer home. To start the proceedings. Here he is again, young Gil. He's put on a little bit of weight. Of recent years has Gil. He's a very good goal sneak in and around those uh, near post, far post. He really makes a difference. He knows how to finish a ball. Where's Sizzler going? Yeah, now wide. Let's see, change the angle. Move the play to the other side of the field. Oh, well done, good turn. Alan Eden lays the stick there and that's right off the feet. Well done, Alison leaned in and he managed to bubble the ball up off the leg. Alistair back in position now, taps it through. No, it ran out to nothing. 16. Or, as I should say, a free out these days, not actually 16, we're in metres now. So it's whatever 16 yards is converted into metres, which is a free out. Well, straight back to Alistair. Thank you very much. He stepped around the player, back to Sizzler, and he's put it straight up into the defender. Oh, of all places to go. Eden now pops the ball back. Alistair walks in the line of play. Good, nice hit out to the side, but too far in front of his winger, who shakes her head and said, hmm, thank you, but no thank you. Goes straight, approaches there in the blue headband. Now he's falling back, so he obviously wants to protect that line to goal. Eden's on this one. He's usually pretty strong in these situations, and he is again. But, uh, he just showed a little bit too much of that ball to the yellow player. Found the foot. Off the foot again, but it's play on this time. Strayer. Oh, nicely done. Threaded it. Well played, girls. Now it's a deflection up and away, Strayer's on it, takes a swing and a miss, it's a free out, oh it was there, it was there to be had, just missed time that one. Sizzler to Hogg, 
Oh, nice play. Tried to slip the defender, but didn't manage to do so. Same now as managed to find the foot, going back inside the player. And tripped over stick or foot, I'm not sure. Alistair lends him a hand and says, come on, old mate. That's what I like to see. Hockey played in the right spirit. And Fitzy has got a very good eye, comes out in the reverse. And somehow manages to ch chunk that one away. That's the best probably description for that kind of a pass, a ka chunk. Jenny now, she's, uh, she, she knew it was a player trying to lead out. <laughs> and she's shaking her tummy, it's a bit of a belly laugh. I said, yeah, right idea, but uh, too strong, I'm afraid. Here we go. Straight into the foot of Tommy. No, doesn't come up the stick. Alistair. Jenny. Well, she could take him on if she's feels inclined to do so. Managed to pop it through the feet. So, yeah, people, the umpires often give those decisions as, as a free hit, but in fact, it really isn't. Because the player's got to be within playing distance. And you can't run through an opposition player. You can put the ball through them, but you can't actually run through them and claim obstruction. You have to go around. But a lot of umpires do actually give that as, a, as obstruction. Anyway, the yellow team managed to get the ball, and they're back on the ball now. Bubbles that one in, up and off the foot. And she goes straight away. Cracked one on target. And I think that might be Graydon Foxover in goal there, the goalkeeper. Wouldn't you love to be called Graydon Foxover? What a name. Sounds something out of um, Ivanhoe or A Night at the Round Table. So Graydon Foxholder. Foxover, my lord. Yeah. The postman now drifts down the right-hand side and uh, manages to find the opposition stick over the sideline. He goes again. And he tries to do the same thing again, and he's managed to do so, and found a free hit. Fitz is on this, uh, Sizzler's on this one, he's just told his player there to back up a little bit, so he can go for short pass, which is what's happened, he's got to go five before it goes in, one, two, nice play, now he's got to run the back line, perfect, across the face of goal, and it's a short corner. Yeah, he's having a re-practice there as Graydon, he's... Uh, sticking his foot down and saying I should have done this and maybe I could have done that and the umpire saying well if only yeah I agree old son you should have you could have you might have but you didn't <laughs> Alistair on the injection this time Pommy on the top of the D this number seven it comes across to Pommy yeah out to Sizzler. What's Sizzler going to do? He's got all the time in the world here. Oh, he's gone wide of target. Oh. Well, that was a real shame and, and a waste. Certainly a huge opportunity. And that hasn't found its mark. It's just going to run down the other end. Yeah, those kind of lazy balls out from defence, uh, you've got to get a lot more accurate with something like that. Because all you do is put your team under a whole lot of pressure. That's better. Alistair there, finds Budgie in the centre. I'm not sure what's happening here. But, uh, Looks like Eden's on the ball now. Comes across to Harkler. He's come back with slightly. He to watch himself here. He wants to turn Budgie around. Budgie's still in the, still in the hunt. And manages to out-muscle him. A little bit of an arm wrestle going on there. Alistair now, he's, he's got a bit of attention from a couple of the ladies. He's managed to pull it back. Fitzy, who's um, come back to Budgie. And move it back to Alistair. The Sizzler. 
and we run around the outside by the looks of this. He gets a head of steam off the sizzler and he likes to run around the outside. And where's he going? Run out of ideas and put it straight at the opposition stick. And that's uh, another wasted ball. By White. That's better sizzler. Here's an option left. Yeah, Budgie just lets it run across the face. Change the angle. Pops it in, and as far as Tex. And Tex just clears his line and manages to find the winger. There's uh, Cole Newman up on the right wing there, in white there, just scratching his head. We haven't seen a whole lot of Cole, but then again, uh, Yellow have had the ball for quite a period now. That's a dangerous ball. This is what I was talking about before. With those cross court passes, you really need to go diagonally back and then across. The square pass invariably gets the attention of the opposition player and very often gets cut out on the way through. Anyway, why are going to regather here? Strayer leaves the field. And uh, Tony Hancock back on again. So Tony makes a difference. You'll see uh, the difference now in, uh, in percentage of which team has the ball with Tony on the park as he does the work of two players. Here's Cole and uh, MYOB has picked his pocket. Cole just locked up there and then um, this lady's worked back and taken the ball off MYOB. Alistair now putting pressure on and she's managed to get it way across into the D. Here we go. Oh, here's Tony. Oh, puts the ball up into Fitzy's leg by the looks of things. Sizzler. He's shouting there for Pommy. Pommy makes a nice pass, but uh, he's done that same little pass that he tried before and he, this time he managed to get away with it but not by much Sizzler back on the case so he's running the ball into trouble here where a nice square pass which is where he's going now Dagley back at least he's done the right thing there uh, Budgie's gone one of his trademark up and unders but uh, it's only as far as Pommy. Pommy's missed that ball completely. <laughs> uh, back to Pudgy again. And he's lost out overrunning the ball. So, uh, he should have passed that ball earlier. The option was there on the top of the D to the right hand side on the inside channel. But once you start running it, you can get your head down. And you have to panic on each touch and the ball tends to get further and further away from you each time. A nice one postman. And Tony Hancock just leans in there with a flat stick and just slides that ball away. He runs the stick over the ball, goes back to same. First time they've been down this end for a while. Hancock goes for the Toma. I'm not sure what he's done there, but it looks like he's found a foot. So here we go. Normally same on the injection. There's a one. Looks like Tex Harplet in the cap, and it is. Tex is good trap. And he's hit it. Smashes it. Oh, it's up the stick of Alistair Hogg. And that's the first goal of the game. For Ian Hartler, commonly known as Tex. So that's 1-0 against the run of play, it has to be said. The yellow had nearly all the play, but uh, that's what happens in so many games. Yeah, the interesting thing with those kind of shots is, had, had it not touched the stick, you can, you can be pretty sure that uh, Fraser Lark and the goalkeeper would have been directly in line with that. Uh, but it's all little deflections and things. That's why you always need to get your shot away and get it on target. Oh, there's a swing and a miss. And here's a ball over here on the left if she can go this way, but she's gone diagonally through the centre. Yeah. 
Oh, lovely, lovely pass, lovely pass. Threaded straight out here to the inside right position, Tony Hancock, and he's done the right thing this time, hasn't tried to overrun it. He's shoved it out to the wing, and it's bobbled up and in, and it's managed to find Same's foot. Same, same, same as last time, Normie. It's cracked out wide to the side here. Oh, the postman's kept it. He's got to bobble out. No, it didn't. <laughs> well done, Noel Mitchell. Oh, good work, Sizzler. Just jumped in front of Eden. Now it's coming out wide. That's good play and support. Even better. Across the face of goal. Nobody there. Yeah, that really was the right ball. Back to Budgie. Comes out wide. And here we are now. Mitchell. Second half, of course. Lovely ball through the legs. Mitchell again. Oh, the one two there. But Mitchell couldn't regather. Fitzy has um, lost his boiler to get to that one. I'm not quite sure why. Could have easily just let it go out over the sideline. Into the D. Across the face. Oh, deflection. Yes, danger area. Two players in line. Took a touch on the way through and uh, nicked it away for a long corner. Mitchell there, number five. Yeah, just, just drew in. Hancock and then lay the ball square. That's good work from Fitz Eagles first time. And Pommy lean, leaning his stick in there and just sliding it and poking it and doing anything he can with it to try and get something on the ball, but he lost out for sure. You yeah, need to be a little bit more accurate. So free out to White. Oh, and that's just straight into trouble. But it's bobbled through off a couple of players and found a white player. And that's off the foot, so white we gather. And he's put it straight back at the yellow again. And it's out over the sideline. Yeah, they really need to have a little look square, some of these players. A little, just a little bit more like that. And then just draw and pass, draw and pass. So just pull that player out of position and then you can go back and then you can go down the sideline. Or you can keep the play moving to the other opposition side and change the whole play. That's off the foot again, so... That's sort of nice play, but you've got all kinds of options available uh, to move the ball and everyone's gathering in here. Hancock now lifts the ball, bubbles it up, and eventually he's running over the back line. So all that speed, all that pace, all that skill, and uh, beaten by a white line, bugger. And I like that, those white lines, they don't move much, and they do have an effect on the game. MYOB, comes wide, makes the same move. Alistair, where's he going? He's got it. Take that ball with you, Alistair. He's dancing around the ball and stepping over it and moving around it. Oh, there's a, a bit of a, a sore and lazy, tired pass. You can see as this carnival's worn on that tiredness is playing a, a bigger and bigger part in each of these games. The players are sore. Playing, everyone's playing two games a day, some people are playing three games a day, some people are playing two and three games and umpiring as well. So that's an awful lot of hockey for players of this age group. But uh, thank goodness it's friendly. Pitsy now, shows it one way, shows it the other way, makes himself a bit of space. He's very solid, he's very solid. MYOB shows the angle. But, uh, and it is to find the white player, and that's into the foot. Yes, it is. No, no, it's not. The same. Where's he going? Into the foot. Yep. Yeah. Managed to draw Mitchell in there and just turned over the ball. 
knew Mitchell would be reaching out to his right and exposing his feet. So I just uh, rolled the ball back under his arm for the short corner. Very good play. And he's done that a thousand times before. So if it wasn't an accident, that's uh, it's quite deliberate play. Fits here there, number 10 in yellow, standing on the top of the D. I think he's confused. He doesn't realise he changed ends. Having a word with the umpire. And then we get another player coming back, number seven there, Pommy. We're short on numbers, now there's a full complement. We have five in goal, and uh, same there, the injection. So it's top of the day, it's going to be a big hit, but it's wide of target. Larkin was reaching there, it wasn't going to be that easy, but uh, managed to get a touch on it. There's a, a bit of a stick check in there, and the umpire's given the short corner. Yellow hands are going up in the air. Not too impressed by the decision there, obviously. And Tony Hancock there, number 13, just running his stick over the ball and weaving his body to create that deception. Draw the player in, make them commit to a tackle. And same now to Hancock. Where's he coming? Comes white to same. Oh, he's, he's, he's done everything right, but didn't lift it over the goalkeeper. He put it, tried to put it under the keeper, maybe tried to go over the keeper and just didn't get a hold of it. But the goal was there, it was begging, and uh, just miscued. So having given him the huge rap before, he's uh, suffered from the curse of the commentator. Right now, does the right thing. Taps the ball off. Oh, yes, found a target right on the penalty spot. All it needed was a trap, and it was there to be had. Of course, when you're in the D, everyone panics a little bit. It's just, uh, don't expect to get very much time when you're in the D. Half a second is a lot, so you've got to know exactly where everyone is and what you're going to do with the ball, if you do get it. She, worked, she read that well, she read that well. But unfortunately, just poked it away. NYOB has come first time, but only as far as Hancock. He's got an option there on the penalty spot again. Well done. Lar comes out, it's bubbled through, but it's off the foot. Umpire had his hand up straight away. NYOB's coming up wide here. Seems trying to get to it, and he's managed to do so as well. So that's, um, again, trying to take a quick free when you really don't need to, you really don't need to, just don't hit it from the back of the D, walk it up to the 16, that way you're not costing yourself time and you have more chance of getting the accurate pass away. There's a couple of ladies now battling in the middle of the field, there's been some really good battles between some of these girls and some great skills. These, for the most part, the, those yellow shirts that you're seeing out there, most of them be red, red and yellow with the numbers on the back there, all the Queensland shirts. That's the current Queensland strip that's across to Budgie. It wasn't intended to go to Budgie, but it made its way there. And uh, Eden's managed to foul on his way through. Sizzler now has taken up the pace. Needs to pull the ball back. Gives it to Budgie, has a look. Gives it back to Sizzler. Oh, and he's put miles ahead of Budgie. Oh, but he's managed to find the winger, well done. Oh, she's actually put it straight on the Eden stick. A little bit unfortunate there. But good defence. MYOB managed to kick it on the way through. So the ball may pass, the player may pass, but the ball and player are not passing. Nice, nice ball across, a bobbling ball. As so you laid the flat stick, all the way you need to bar up, just get that uh, upright stick into position. If you can get your body in place in time. Not always easy, of course. Sometimes you have to reach in. And Fitz has fallen back into the half position. Looks like he was going to go overhead there for a second. He's cracking one long down the inside channel. He's found Budgie. Oh, oh well played. Tried to step around the defender left and uh, had his pocket picked. After now, oh, Sizzler. <laughs> He's had three bites of that one. <laughs> well, giving it through to Budgie. 
He's taken a run over to the left, stepped around a couple of players and had to go wide in order to avoid the mistake he just made before. Now he's going to run the back line, protecting the ball here. And here he is on that side, having a look for a player. Does one of his trademark spins and runs the back line. Across the face of goal, now there's a player in there. Sizzler now, cracks one, oh, still there. Come on, Sizzler, go again, still there, still there. It's up the goal, back to Sizzler again. He's trying to leap the keeper. Oh, <laughs> the yellow players put the stick on the ball and knocked it out instead of having the stick face it towards the goal. Oh, Sizzler did all the work there, but uh, probably should have pulled it back to a bit of an angle. You can't really beat the keeper at zero angle when he's on the near post. He's had three attempts at that, and then he's tried to go over the keeper's head at zero angle again. So, yeah. But uh, good play in the first instance from the lady who was standing to receive the ball uh, from Budgie from that uh, spin turn there. She was in exactly the right position. Just didn't manage to first time it, but at least kept the ball in play. Oh, Harkler's tried to knock the ball through his player and uh, found the foot. Eden, oh, he's mistrapped. Uh, Eden's done a power of work today as well. He's been running like crazy. 67 years old now. Here comes Sizzler out to Budgie. Where's he going? He's mistrapped the thing, hasn't he? Bouncing ball has bounced right through him. <laughs> he's waving his hand and saying, whoops. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, I might all be there. There's a lot of tired bodies out there these at the moment. Just uh, mistrapping balls, bouncing off sticks and going left, right and centre. As you can see, the pace has slowed right down. A lot of people are walking around the place where before they were at least running earlier on. Hancock's decided to put a bit of a burst of speed in here, out of nowhere. And um, that's confused everyone. Everyone was thinking it turned into a walking game in there for a second. And then Hancock went and spoiled it. Here's Mitchell. He's just done what I've been talking about, which is just stepped into the line. Budgie pops one up here. Oh, again, another missed trap. Alistair finds his player, 1-2, nice work you two. Where's Alistair going this time? Yeah, and just to find Sizzler, good. Sizzler can run across the face of goal here. Oh, he's in the, he's in the D, and he's popped it across, and it's in the back of the net. Oh, he's gone all the way. <laughs> oh, he's won all. First goal to Tex Harkler. By the Barflies mix, and uh, return goal from Sizzler. Well done. Tony Hancock now. Decided to try and do it all himself. And well, that's unfortunate. The umpire's given that the other way. But for sure, like um, Noel Mitchell had reached around and onto his foot. Hancock's gone the Tomer, but he's gone wide of target. And Larkham and Goal there hasn't had too much to do with this game. You can see he's standing around the place. And telling jokes to the umpire, probably. I know Fraser Larkham. And there's a score. Well, flies one, Sharks one. Awful lot of white shirts down there. And Sizzler's done the right thing there as he's trapped that ball, he's actually poked it to the side. And there's a pass, there's a couple of passes he should have probably done something with. He's got one back here again. That's the one he should have passed about two or three touches ago. And Mitchell shows the inside, then comes back out, and that's the way to do it. Go one way, then the other. So there's the one two happening. There's Budgie on the back line, and uh, Mitchell's. On the budget across the face of goal, but uh, nobody in attendance, unfortunately. Get into the danger area. It's all the way back down the other end. Four, three, two, one. And Jenny back on the field now. We just to put the ball through, so get that. <laughs> she runs on, well played. <laughs> That's it, through the player, go on, go on, go on. Oh, I probably should have pulled it back and made yourself a half a metre or so. I've got a lot of work to do, Norman, there's editing. So. 
I've got a lot of work to there do on this editing. Three out. <laughs> Get the bar flies mixed. <laughs> Final quarter. <laughs> All Straight in at the top of the D. Oh. There have been so many missed traps today. Hancock now facing Sizzler, two, two of the quicker players on the field. There's been a bit of an arm wrestle between these two today. Estrella now, as Hodgie uh, closes him down. Estrella comes out wide, but only as far as the yellow shirt. That's what pressure does to you, unfortunately. These two are going to cause an obstruction here. Oh, that was just silly. Really, at this uh, time in your career, you should know better than that. But uh, as I say, probably tiredness creeping in, more like exhaustion. <laughs> Even now, I saw too much of it. I come out here and found its way through. Tommy trying to tackle his own player here. Comes out to Jenny. She's got a stick on it, but it's not going to. Stop in, in the field to play. There's a good interception there from Fitzy. He wants to put the ball backwards and uh, turn over again back to Yellow. Back to Fitzy again. So some good movement here. Well, Sizzler in 12, he should be dropping down wide and square here, but he's actually putting himself out of contention for that ball. See, that was, uh, if he dropped square before, he would have been in a much better position to receive that. And by the time he's been in a position to receive it, the defence has already set the lines and cut him out. And hit down the sideline. Very well done. And to Cole Newman. Cole's not moving well, he's, I think it's a hamstring or a groin. So it's, it's good to see him here. There's a bit of a sort of half tommer. There's Larkin on the case. And it's a back stick. It's a free out. Fitzy there. It's a bit of a battle now with Tony Hancock and Budgie. And Hancock's saying he's claiming the ball and he's not moving, but uh, now the umpire's giving it to Budgie and Budgie says I'm playing on. Giving it to Sizzler. There's numbers here now, if they can use them, there it is left. No, he's tapped it right. He's going around, he's, there it is left again. No, he's gone straight at the keeper. Free far post was open. There it is, pop it back. No, he's gone straight at the keeper again. There he is again. And he's been attacking that uh, near post. He's been attacking that near post. Should have gone left early first time, and then he should have pulled it back there to Jenny at 45 degrees. Keeper's gone down here. Um, it's just... As he's hit the ground, is with the helmet on and the weight of the helmet, it's just uh, impeded him there, and that's the end of the game. Yeah, the keeper turned out to be all right eventually, but had to go for a scan, I believe.